The Mobile Notifications Package is a new way to manage mobile notifications on a user's iOS or Android device directly from inside of Unity. It adds support for scheduling and sending local notifications on Android. On iOS, it is intended to replace the Notification Services API, and it implements the User Notifications Framework. The Mobile Notifications Package supports iOS 10 devices and above, as well as Android devices running versions 4.4, API 19, and higher. To get started using the Mobile Notifications Package, we'll first need to add it to our project from the Package Manager. Let's open the Package Manager by choosing Window, Package Manager, and let's choose Mobile Notifications and click the Install button. Now that we have the Mobile Notifications Package installed, we can start using the available features and manage the notifications that we'd like to send to our user. The Mobile Notifications Package allows us to schedule and repeat notifications based on the local time, date, or on iOS devices based on a location. I've created a script to handle notifications. If we take a look at it, we can see that we can manage our notification channels on Android devices by using the Android Notification Channel struct. Here we can set the ID, name, description, and importance level of our channel. We then register the channel using a static call to the Android Notification Center class. And with the channel set up, we can create and send our first notification. Here, I've set up a simple test notification to fire 10 seconds after the application is started. As you can see, if we start the application on our Android device and wait, we get our notification sent through. At the moment, it's just using a default icon. We can set icons for each of our notifications in the editor. Let's set our own icon for the notification instead. To do this, let's open the Project Settings window by choosing Edit, Project Settings, and then choosing Mobile Notification Settings. In the Mobile Notification Settings window, we can manage our notification settings on Android and iOS devices. To add an icon for our Android notifications, let's add a new entry and let's select our white icon. In the Identifier field, let's name our icon app underscore icon underscore small and we'll keep the type as small icon. This will be used as the tray icon. Next, let's add another entry. This time we'll select the full icon and set it as our large icon with the identifier set to app underscore icon underscore large. Back in our notification script, let's assign these icons to the small icon and large icon properties of our notification. Now when our notification fires on Android, they have our custom icons assigned. We can set different icons for each of our notifications. This allows us to prioritize different visual assets for different categories of notifications and allow users to easily see what the notification is for. To deliver local notifications on iOS, you will need to request authorization. You can enable the Request Authorization on App Launch setting in the Mobile Notification Settings window to automatically show a permission dialog when the application is launched. Once authorized, we can send simple notifications by creating a new iOS notification on a time interval trigger and schedule it using the iOS Notification Center. On iOS, we can also trigger notifications based on the calendar using the iOS Notification Calendar Trigger class, or by location based on the iOS Notification Location Trigger class. With the Mobile Notifications Package, we can also easily track and cancel scheduled notifications on Android and iOS. The Send Notification method returns an identifier when called. We can use this to check if the notification has already been delivered and perform any action depending on the result. It's worth noting, however, that notification status can only be tracked on Android Marshmallow 6.0 and above. In this example, when the application is paused, I'm checking to see if the notification is scheduled, and if it is, I'll replace it with a different notification. Or if the notification has already been delivered, we can remove the notification from the status bar. If we wish to cancel an iOS notification before it was triggered, it can be canceled using the Remove Scheduled Notification method. If the notification was already displayed to the user, we can remove it from the Notification Center using the Remove Delivered Notification method. We can subscribe to notification events to receive a callback whenever a notification is delivered while the app is running using the Notification Received Callback method on Android and the On Remote Notification Received method on iOS. 
both callbacks returned various pieces of information about the notification that was received, including the notification ID, title, text, and channel on Android, and the title, body, and subtitle on iOS. We can also use get last notification intent on Android or the get last responded notification method on iOS to get the last notification received by the app. These can also be used to check if a notification was used to open the app. If the app was opened in any other way, both methods will return null. As you can see, the new mobile notifications package makes it fast and easy to implement app notifications for mobile devices from inside of Unity. To learn more about the mobile notifications package or to get started by downloading the demo project and to try it for yourself, follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, for another look at this feature and to get an insight into how to send notifications to both Android and iOS with the same API call, check out the sample project on the Unity GitHub. Thanks for watching.